Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here, back with plate busters. That's what people have been calling my videos where I'm doing myth busting. So I'm calling, I am the plate buster, and welcome to another video. Now, in this video, if it's not uh, obvious by the tut or what's in front of you, is we're going to be seeing busting the myth of which hob or which mixer or which method of doing chips is faster. Now, this could be used for onion rings as well. This could also be used for pumpkin seeds, as long as everything is set up the same way. The way I have it set up here is I have the bare minimum for each type of mixer and each type of cooking method. At the top, we have the, your basic mixer with safety hob, rapid mixer with safety hob, and then we have a conveyor mixer with safety hob, and then we have the heated mixer with no hob, it has its own safety hob. Now, one thing that I wanna show you guys is I'm actually going to bring in a couple more things because it was interesting is the fact of longevity purposes of how this plays out. And I think you guys may be a little surprised, uh, if I'm honest with you, about which one starts off fast or the, in front and which one finishes in the front because they are different uh, to a point. So again, there's, in a sense, you have diminishing returns. And again, the way this setup is every prep station is faced the same way. Um, every hob is faced the same way. So the graphics or the way they go into the prep station is gonna be exactly the same. Because if you have one facing this way, the appearance and the way that the chips go into this is different than if you have it facing this way. It's just the way it is. Um, this is gonna affect anything. I don't know for this test. But basically the way it's set up is this is the bare minimum or the minimum way to do chips with the four mixers and the four cooking methods. And the basically we're showcasing is which way is faster, which way is better. I mean, obviously these things, this here uses, doesn't use a safety hob or an extra you know, grabber. So you're using less resources. Here you're using one less resource, but your conveyor mixer costs double what a regular mixer costs because you have a, a mixer and a conveyor. So the cost there is roughly the same as these two here. Um, but this one has less space, which could be a factor. And then this one obviously is the most compact, but it, you're only using a heated mixer. Now the safety hobs all cook at 0.75 speed, the three of them. The mixers, the conveyor mixer and the regular mixer both mix it, I guess you consider 1x speed. Rapid mixer, I believe, is 2x, or there's a number kind of in between that, but it's significantly faster. Uh, actually, I don't think it's 2x, maybe it's 1.5. Anyway, you can correct me on that uh, later if you like. 50% faster, there you go. So it's actually at 1.5 speed. And then you have your heated mixer, which is at, it doesn't tell you the speed, but it's a 0.4. So it's half the speed, almost half the speed of the safety hob. But again, you're doing it all in one motion. So you know what, let's just, I'm gonna stand over here, look pretty. I'm gonna run this simulation. We'll chat about it as it runs. Okay, let's fire it up. Practice mode, and here we go. Okay, so obviously in the start is gonna be the heated mixer. Oh, look what's catching up. Okay, so. The first thing that you notice is conveyor mixer is the first one out of the gate. Just keep your eye on that. It looks like the, the rapid mixer is catching up. Now the rapid is pulling ahead. What's happening here? The regular mixer at the top is now taking second place. The rapid mixer is still in the first. Then it goes rapid, then regular, then conveyor. Then, of course, the heat is at the bottom. You know, rapid, con regular, conveyor. So as it goes on, your rapid mixer is pulling way ahead of the regular mixer, which is pulling way ahead of the basic. So you're done, 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 and then here we're not even, we're only halfway. So what does this all mean? Well, it means that in the beginning, your conveyor mixer is faster because it has one less tile to go because it doesn't have to push like it, the grabber space is not occupied so initially right away is going to be faster but the thing that either mixer all three all four mixers basically they mix faster than it takes chips to cook on a safety hob 
Um, and because of the way that the mixer works initially, that's why it pulls ahead of the regular mixer because it has that initial advantage and it keeps the advantage. Now, extreme longevity, I don't know because eventually things will start to back up. But I mean, for this test, this is using the bare minimum of what's required for each cooking method with each cooking different, um, what do you want to call it? With each different, you know, mixer versus cooking method. Now, um, that's basically it. If you, if you put a, if this would be a smart grabber going into a safety hob, it'd be basically the same thing as a regular mixer. So there'd be no difference with that. But yeah, this is a quick, a quick and easy kind of test for you guys just to kind of look at and say, you know what, which is the best way, you know, for my money, I still use a conveyor mixer. Granted, chips or fries, we call them chips or side dish or side dish. So if because they're a side dish, use your heated mixer, right? If you're going through chips, like every customer's ordering it, which doesn't ever happen, mind you, then go with the conveyor mixer because you're saving space. And I mean, if you're or if, if, if there's some sort of restaurant where you can just serve chips, do the wrapping mixer <laughs> but otherwise the top three mixers basically for a normal run each one of them will work as good as the next now these top three setups here one two and three either one will work just fine either one costs the same amount of coins because a conveyor mixer is double the, the cost as a rapid or regular mixer um you're just saving a grabber space but you're basically paying for a grabber and a mixer which gives you your 120 coins so all three of these messages Methods cost exactly the same. You have one less space used, you know, use here. Um, again, if you don't want to run prep stations or something, then you know you don't have to run prep stations. Just for the just for the demonstration here. So I mean, overall, of the four methods, if it be me and me alone playing, you know, it's my solo games, and I had chips as a side that I'm planning on having longevity through the entire run. Excuse me, the entire run. I would go with this right here. I go with number four because it's literally using three things. It's using the potatoes, which are free because you get them. One grabber, which could be any grabber, it could be a regular grabber, corner grabber, small grabber, doesn't matter, or a rotating grabber, if you will. And it's a safe. It's a uh, a heated mixer, which is basically a safety hob and a mixer combined without the price tag of a regular mixer and a safety hob, which is 120. This costs 60, like these other two cost 60. So my bet, my best bet, almost all the times I'd go with the setup right here. Very simple, very basic. You know, mixers drop frequently. You upgrade it in your blueprint desk or with your blueprint, excuse me, in your blueprint cabinet with the research desk. You know, the max you have to upgrade is two times because it goes heated conveyor rapid. So if you start off with a conveyor, then you upgrade it one more time, which gives you rapid one more time for heated. So, you know, you're only talking two, potentially three upgrade cycles, and then that's it. But nonetheless, guys, turn myself around, my pretty cute little ghost here. I love the ghost costume, by the way. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me for another Plate Busters episode. Definitively, Rapid Mixer and Safety Hub is the fastest. But for my money, is I'd use a heated mixer because chips are a side. Not everybody orders sides. And by the time you get around to your first main dish, they're going to be backed up into your prep station anyway. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this video as well as the content that I produce, please consider leaving me a subscribe. We'd much appreciate it. really help out my channel. If you enjoyed this video, or um, please leave it a like as well as a comment. I love getting comments from all of my supporters. And I always respond with, to everybody either with a thumbs up, a heart, or a custom personalized comment right back to you. So thank you guys once again. I'll catch you next time with some more Plate Busters. Take care now.